All right, today we are doing the final um, mock draft for this particular mock. The plan, if everything goes to plan, is that tomorrow there will be a new first round mock draft and we will do a new six teams that are the top six that we haven't already done. Does that kind of make sense? That's the plan. Today we are doing the Philadelphia Eagles. There weren't any fun trades, but we did do the Dallas Cowboys and I talked a little bit of trash about the Eagles, so sorry about that, but you know, I'm just trying to play to the audience. So today we get to pick on the Cowboys, so let's get started. I'm actually kidding. I don't. I don't have anything. I mean, if it comes up organically, cool. But I don't. I don't have any like material written. Cowboys suck, right? McCarthy, ha ha ha. With the sixth overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Jamar Chase, wide receiver, LSU. Um, again, I talked about this already. If you don't know what's going on right now, this is a first round mock. Uh, this is a mock based off of my first round on Monday. There's a link somewhere in the world. Go find it. Um, so we already talked about this, but. You need help on off. And I, look, the, the Packers are facing the Eagles, so I just did try to do a breakdown of the Eagles. It's so hard to pinpoint what the problem is because there's so many problems. There's problems everywhere. Your quarterback is an absolute mess. I don't know what his problem is. The sacks are through the roof, largely because of your quarterback, but also because you've got two guys on your team that are giving up more sacks than anybody else in the rest of the NFL. It's out of control. It's pandemonium. It's chaos. But at the end of the day, you got two wide receivers that are getting old and need to go away. You got Jalen Rager, who's brand new and showed absolutely nothing in his rookie year. We have a lot of other needs that we need to address, particularly quarterback. And if that was an option, I may have done that. But, you know, we got the guy from the second round last year. Maybe we can get something out of him. I don't know. But we got to get better at wide receiver. So hopefully. We got Jamar Chase to be that true number one X receiver. We got Jalen Rager to be the speed guy on the outside. He's going to be the other real good wide receiver. It's not looking good for that being a possibility now, but let's fantasize for a while. That's what the draft is all about. We just pretend things in our mind, and we get excited about winning a Super Bowl, despite the fact we'll probably never see one in our lifetime. So Jalen Rager is going to be the guy that's the deep threat. He's going to you know take the top off the defense, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, man, we got a long way to go, but uh, we got to start somewhere. And we're going to start start with Jamar Chase. With the 38th pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Paulson Adebo, cornerback out of Stanford. Now, I was banging the drum real hard last year. Got to get a corner, got to get a corner, got to get a corner. Not only did you guys ignore me in the first round, I say you guys as though you had some part in this. I, you know, I don't, I just say things sometimes. But there was no cornerbacks taken at all. There were two undrafted free agents, I believe, and that's it. Now, you did go out and get Darius Slay. How's that working out for you? Not too well. We got to do something. We got to get better. Um, and as far as fatal flaws on this team, cornerback is one of the fatal flaws right now. I know offense is the bigger issue. I got you, Jamar Chase. Whatever. Um, but I, I just I, I can't do it. I cannot do it anymore. The corners are terrible. We need a new corner, Paulson Adebo, 38th overall pick. Have a good day. With the 70th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Aziz Ojulari, edge rusher, Georgia. Now, I'm 90% sure most Eagles fans are going to hate this. One of the things that I hate is when you take something that is the identity of a team and you allow it to fall apart. The offensive line is already falling apart. The defensive line is also falling apart. Those are two of the cores of what made this team good when it was really, really good. This is a future pick. Brandon Graham is still an absolute freak, but he's 32 years old. He's in the final year of his deal in 2021. This is going to be the last year that he's possibly there. The same is true of Josh Sweat and Derek Barnett. Not only are their contracts up, they've been a bit of a letdown. We got to keep this thing going. We got, we got to keep the strong defensive line. That is the identity of, of the defense, at least. Um, so that's what I want to do. Again, I know most fans are going to hate it because you want somebody that's going to fix this year right now. Although he can. Of course he can. Who's on the other side? Somebody not as good as Mr. Aziz Ojulari, I'll tell you that. So... With the 132nd pick in the fifth round, we didn't have a fourth round pick, of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Tyler Linderbaum, Offensive Center, Iowa. Calm down. I know you have a center. I know he's a great center, all that stuff. Think of him as an interior offensive lineman, okay? Beyond that, Kelsey is also in the final year of his deal, so this is a guy who's going to play guard, hopefully. And then after Kelsey leaves, which is going to be very soon, he's going to kick into that spot. 
Again, the offensive line was very, very good for a very long time. It has completely imploded. Peters is an absolute disaster at this point. Um, he's he's basically he's on the way out. He was not doing a good job at tackle. He's also not doing a good job at guard. I know we have Dillard who's going to step up. I don't know. He's not playing. Why isn't he playing? He must not be very good. I, I, it's just the whole thing is just a cluster. It's just I can't even wrap my head around what's going on. But we're going to stack some pieces in there. We're going to try to put together five guys that can play football adequately, find a quarterback that knows how to play, who doesn't seem to be Wentz, because even when he's not under pressure, he's terrible. In every scenario, he's doing a terrible job. So maybe Jalen Hurts. I don't know. I don't know. But we got Jamar Chase. We've got uh, Jalen Rager. We've got hopefully a halfway competent offensive line and hopefully a quarterback that knows how to play football. If not, then we suck again. I don't know what else to tell you. With the 134th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft fifth round, the Philadelphia Eagles select Ambry Thomas, cornerback out of Michigan. I know I'm stuck on it. I know I'm obsessed with it. I want good corners, right? I don't want to just find one that doesn't suck. I want to have good corners. So we've got the guys that we've already got, and now we've got two new guys in Adebo and Thomas. Hopefully we got a good cornerback group. Again, there's still a lot of issues, but we got a hopefully a still solid defensive line, a, an improved offensive line, corners. We're going in the right direction. We're trying here. With the 166th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Anthony Hines, linebacker, Texas A&M. I was really hoping TJ Edwards was going to give us something. He was kind of showing a flash last year, but it looks like right now we just don't really have anybody at linebacker that is super competent. You got Sean Bradley, who's the 2020 version of TJ Edwards. He hasn't played very much, but it's like, ooh, there was a, I saw him for a second there, and he looked kind of... I don't think there's much there. Uh, Nathan Jerry's been terrible. TJ Edwards has been bad. Alex Singleton has been bad. Davion Taylor and his 33 snaps were pathetic. Duke Riley is terrible. Rashad Smith hasn't played a single snap this year. They're all terrible. So we have to do better. I don't know exactly that a six-round pick is going to fix this, but we got to take a swing at it. we got to get some better linebackers on this team. With the 198th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft 7th round, the Philadelphia Eagles select Kylan Hill, running back, Mississippi State. I'm just now realizing how much Eagles fans are going to hate this. Angriest fan base in the world, and I just I had to do this. I'm not trying to attack Miles Sanders, and I don't even know. Maybe you guys hate Miles Sanders. I don't know. Miles Sanders right now seems to be a pretty competent running back in terms of you hand him the ball, and he does a good job running the ball and again hopefully if we improve the offensive line that will continue to improve one of the things that concerns me about him though is his blocking and receiving ability he seems to have carved himself out as a pretty good pure runner so kylan hill is going to right now come in as sort of a, a third down back he's a really good blocker and a really really good receiver and so again seventh round i don't know exactly what you're getting but if we can get a guy like kylan hill um that can come in, for example, let's see, he had in three games racked up 23 receptions for 234 yards and a touchdown. If you want to go watch him, check out his game against LSU. Um, 12 blocking attempts is allowed, zero sacks, hits, or hurries, no press. So so he's got the, the credentials to at least come in and be a quality third down back. He's also built a little bit bigger, so if need be, if Miles Sanders goes down, there's a, there's a chance he can come in and be a quality back. But anyways, that's it. That's all of them. I know you guys hate me much in the comment section if you did like it please like it or if you at least appreciate the effort uh, like would be uh, great otherwise please subscribe to the channel if you want to catch more there's going to be another first round mock draft hopefully tomorrow we will be doing more eagles mocks sometime in the future otherwise i'll catch you next time